Hello and welcome guys to CGC's new tutorial on the military badges and <clears throat> Photoshop CS5 blah 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 and today I am going to show you guys the Omicron Force I mean I'm, I make all of these up I just take cool Greek names because I like them and that's basically everything that I do so don't think there's something like an Omicron force, I don't even know. So, let's start off with a new document 1920 by 1080, 72, and a white background is good. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom in. There we go. And I'm just gonna leave it as a background, it doesn't matter. We're gonna start off with let's make the aligning lines because we will need them quite a good amount of time sorry because well it's a round shape so we're gonna go to so okay I got I got it here I got my circles here but if you guys don't have the circles you go you click this once and then you just go down to shapes and then go yeah I already have it and you just scroll down to the circle we're gonna use the thicker one go pretty close to the middle click hold L alt and shift and drag and um, I'm gonna make it this big that's good and I'm just gonna fill it up for now quickly with a color overlay or no that's 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 already complete this shape so I'm just gonna call it outer circle yep and now we're gonna go to color overlay we're gonna give it a bluish as you could see before so 0e 3092 yeah 0e 3092 that's the color then we're gonna give it a satin uh, everything's fine except for to change the D to 10 and the size to 50 um, that's exactly how we want it. Now we're gonna go to a bevel emboss, of course. Again, set it to maximum, the size at ten. As a yes, ten, and the soften at sixteen. Okay, and of course, as always, my shadow mode. I turn it down to fifty because I don't like the blackish look that always comes with it. And lastly, the outer glow screen 75 that's all fine you can just put the size to 7 if you feel like it I doesn't really matter that much and that's okay <clears throat> with that we've actually already completed the outer circle so now we can move on to making the stars that were going around at the top uh, east west and south and go back to our shape up here so shape and we are going to have the star tool which is right here we're gonna go over here I'm just gonna zoom in click hold out and shift and just drag and that already accidentally gave me what it looks like I'm just gonna clear the layer style so you guys can follow along so if oops if I'm correct command T to do it uh, it should already be centered but as I can see there is no actual center so you'll just have to put it wherever you think it's correct and what well, was complete no first we're gonna zoom out command J to copy the layer command T holding shift I'm gonna move it down here doesn't actually change a lot gonna place it right there command J again command T holding shift I'm just gonna drag it over here bam command J one last time and drag it up here so there we go we got all the stars what we're gonna do we're gonna go on the first one or it doesn't matter which one you go on and we're gonna give it a color overlay and the color is going to be called 
uh, 131389. There we go. And a satin, which I guess stays normally. I'm just going to change the sign. Yeah, no, everything's fine. 1115, that's all cool. But as it, yes, I think. Yeah, no, 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 no. It changes distance to 15, the size to 19. Yes. Um, that should have changed it, but as I can see, then we'll check what happens when we put a bevel on it. So bevel emboss, size to seven. Of course, again depth to maximum, and that should have stayed there. So that was it. Nope, an outer glow. Outer glow, as again, just click it, and that's enough. I'm just gonna check if it looks exactly the same on this one. Star, I'm just gonna check, let's see. Let's go on a satin. Yes it does. So it's okay that it looks kinda weird when you start off with, so now you can close it up, right click the layer and copy the layer style and paste it over all four. Close it up, close it up, and close it up. So we got our stars, we got our outer circle, next up is the arrow that's going to go through all of that. I'm just going to zoom out to this far, go up here, make a new layer, go to my shape, and I'm going to click on this right side thing here, and I'm going to go down to arrows. Click enter, yes. And I'm going to choose, oops. I'm actually gonna choose. I think it was this one. No, wait. Pretty sure. Let me just see. Uh, let's have a look. Yes, it should be this one. So as you can see, I just randomly dragged it. I'm gonna click Command T. I'm gonna center it. Go to the rotate side, holding Shift. So that's exactly at a diagonal. And I'm going to pull it to both sides. The thickness is actually pretty fine. Yeah. There we go. Double click the shape and we will give it a color overlay. As always. And two, four, three, three. 5e there we go and a satin uh, as I can see the satin just stays how it is so we just click it and leave it and a bevel emboss where we're going to change this again to, s oops, to 7 depth as always to maximum and of course the SM250 yeah there we go, and so that should be all for now, but we are going to continue with the text. So text tool, and I'm just going to click here, size and everything doesn't matter, I can just, yeah, color, you can just turn it to white because it will be white in the end, and uh, well actually for now. I'm just going to turn it black because otherwise I can't see. And you're going to choose Bank Gothic. And that's a standard color uh, typing style, so no problem getting it. Oh, what you should watch out for is over here that this is at 70 PT. Because if you don't have that, it's up here, window, and um, tools, or one of these but you should have that and Omicron bam and I'm going to type right under that force there we go so like Omicron and force I'm just going to put it over here I'm going to turn it on this one you just ha it just has to go by how you think it looks good and yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna just click, I do not know. Whoops, wrong layer. Go to force. Could turn that, say. 
a little bit more. And uh, there we go. Omicron's a little far away. So I'm just going to move it a little closer. There. Let's just say that's okay. Forces may be a little too close. Don't get bored by this, guys, but it's just, just like that. Mm, you can size them up both, so. You can go like this. And. Like this. Because you want it to be a constant sizing, so hold Alt and Shift again. So there we go. Omicron, Force, the circle, the stars, the arrow. Only thing left is the inner circle. So we're going to go back to our outer circle, make a new layer, go back to a shape tool, go up here, and change it back to shapes. And that wasn't actually what it's supposed to do. I think I, no, not shapes. Sorry. No, yes, actually shapes. Hmm. Oh, I probably clicked symbol by accident. Um, yeah, go back down to the circle, but instead of changing the thick one, we're going to choose a thin circle. Go back to the middle again, click, hold, alt, and shift, and drag. Let's see, I'm going to make it so it's centered on all. Uh, it has a weird layer style, it's not supposed to have that. Uh, I'm just seeing that one of my s uh, stars a little. Oh nope, not that one. A little off. Let's go move a little bit more to the left. Yeah, just this kind of helps in the end. And then now you can see what, if your stars are accurate or not. So I'm gonna go back to that inner circle, and the only thing you're gonna do on this one is give it a color overlay, and the color is uh. What's the color? Oh yeah, zero eight two six seven C. Yes. Where's the E? I think it's E. Let's just try E. Have a look. Yeah, it should be E. So no C, but E. And last of all, let's unlock the background. And no. Hold it. <laughs> you were saying back down there. And just the color overlay of black. Because we like things. Oh, of course, now that we changed it to black, we're just going to change both of these to white. And force to white. And there we go. So you've done. You're done. Not you've done. You are done. And that should be all f uh hmm. Whatever. As you can see now, that is our cool force logo and everything, so I think it ended up pretty cool. Hope you guys subscribe and support me on continuing with my military batch things and, and so on. Next up coming up is probably, not probably, I already have completed my test design, is the Vector Force, which is a pretty arrowy force, so not these kind of arrows, but oh no, 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 I just forgot something. Ah, that's such a bad mistake. How could I forget that? Worst mistake ever, you could say. Go back to your arrow tool, zoom into here, shape it, get your. Oh, first you have to rasterize it quickly, and I'm just gonna do this as quick as I can because I actually wanted to end it right there, but. Whoops, so you're just gonna delete this part of it as accurately as you can according to the circle. So, there you go. And now it's done. So there we go. Done. We got the arrow going through the thing properly now. We got our circle with dual color. We got our stars glowing. And this is an epic, epic, epic thing. 
so hope you guys enjoyed this because I did in some way and that is all see you next time guys short tutorial but probably helpful CGC's out and over